Well, the Scrap Trident Tour was an idea at the end of last year. I just felt in my bones that this country has got to have a debate about nuclear weapons, and Trident and the cost of it was going to actually create the opportunity for that. So I, I said to the CND people, I'll devote April to this tour, and I'm doing about 35 or 40 different places in the course of that, and talking about Trident all the time, and um, I'm enjoying it. Well, if you bring up the cost of Trident, it's, there's no argument. People just can't believe when I say, I keep asking people how many zeros there are in a hundred billion, and they work it out and it's that long. And uh, of course, they were astonished, especially since nearly everywhere locally, there's been some cut to the libraries or the hospital or the schools of all have suffering cuts. And uh, so they, they just think it's ridiculous to be spending all that money on a system which doesn't give security uh, when they've got real needs which are not being met. I think it's, it's, it sounds good in a way to the right wing. In reality it's nonsense. I mean if it's good for us to have it, why shouldn't the Germans have one or the Swedes have one or the Burmese have one? Why shouldn't anybody have a nuclear weapon if they protect us against North Korea? Actually they don't protect us at all against North Korea. Uh, North Korea is already facing down the United States of America which has about 8,000 nuclear warheads and clearly isn't terribly bothered about that. Um, and uh, why, why we with a few extra warheads would be able to do something to North Korea, I don't know. N nuclear weapons only deter people who are too intelligent to use nuclear weapons in the first place. They don't deter suicidal people or fanatics or... Uh, they don't deter accidents from happening. And uh, that's really the danger that we face.